Hello there, I'm uh, going to throw some paint at the 109 again and to uh, get the undersides and sides done and RLM 76 licked blau and this is my paint of choice and, uh, I can hear all of you saying but that stuff takes hours to dry well I beg to differ so I've got a little trick which makes it dry really really quick and that is bung a few drops of this stuff in anything like this now this is a, a painting trade product and what it will do I mean obviously it says it on the tin does what it says on the tin ha ha it speeds up drying in adverse conditions and what what that means in a work uh, situation is that if you if you paint like uh, gloss um, gutters in say back end of the year October November sort of time and it gets cold and damp the gloss can be affected by that cold and damp and it will uh, it will it will go matte or even have a kind of a white bloom on it that looks like it's condensation but it's not and then you've got to paint it all again so what this um liquid dryers will do you put a few drops of that in your in your kit of paint and it quickly it quickens up the drying before uh, the adverse weather as an if as is able to have an effect on it so with that done well I'll put a few bit of paint in one of these bottle lid bit of that in wasn't it round and what another thing i'll do now obviously there's, there's still a bit of paint left in this thing so um, get yourself an empty tin and, well, and just leave it like that and it will it will drain eventually and then you get yourself a clean bottle top back So, no, this bad boy. So I'm gonna start spraying. Obviously, I appreciated it. I got the stuff thinned down. That's yellow, been masked. That's all good. So I'll uh, I'll kick off with the, with the spraying. Cut the camera and uh, show you what uh, it looks like when I've finished.
that's made a start and uh, when I come back it should all be done right <clears throat> here we are this is kind of stage one of the pre-shade process uh, looks very stark I know what I, all I'll do now is now I've done the individual panels in I just slowly 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 keep building up layers building up layers building up layers until it's faded out enough to not look like it does now it still looks like someone's been over it with a felt tip pen at the minute but obviously uh, the beauty of this is you can you can just keep fading it and fading it adding look you know lighter layers more and more paint and uh, eventually you you will get to uh, effect well, something like this but I mean this is also had uh, a wash over it as well but um, it was also done in the same uh, with the same process which is something I like to do because it's very very easy to actually do <sighs> likewise this this has been I don't know if you can see that the way the lights are and this has been pre-shaded <clears throat> in the same manner and as it stands this this ain't quite finished so it's not had any sort of wash on it or anything like that back to bed and round two and there we have it nice neat outlined lines and the thing is if if I do decide it's still a bit much I can just give it a big general thin coat over the top and it's all good now you're gonna to have to take my word for this um, but it's been since I started spraying this that's on seven minutes probably quarter of an hour ish something like and what I was saying about the drying times by using that uh, liquid dryers of where are you? Of this stuff All right, that's not dry. <laughs> Full disclosure, it's not. It's it's almost nearly, but not quite dry. It's um, certainly what I would call touch dry, though. Give it another well, five, ten minutes, and that that will be dry. So, on that rain. I'm going to give it another few minutes, turn it over, and bring this uh, lit blue up the fuselage. See you on the other side. <clears throat> All right, so it's realistic there. It's been 10, 15 minutes since I started spraying this. It's it is tacky, a little bit tacky, but not so tacky as you'd ruin it. It's it's pretty much touch dry now. So that means I can put it down there, get the airbrush, and have another go. However, he wants a bit more paint in it. So I'm going to do that, and then crack on. Right, <coughs> airbrush replenished. And away we go.
right, I'm going to carry on with that and uh, see you in a bit. And there we are. That's the underside. Rolling up the fuselage. To the top. And the lick to plow. I've got the tail to do yet, but I don't want to, didn't want to put that on till I'd done this white <clears throat> on the tail because it was it'd be easier to mask it down, which is how I've done that. So what I'm going to do next is this is the uh, a copy of the instruction sheet. I'm not sure if it's coming out, but you can see our the pattern on the wings. It's a very jagged, serrated look to it. So I'm going to actually cut this out. I'll have a mate mask or use this itself as a mask. And uh, get that, get those wings sprayed. And we've also got the nose to do. So on that note, I'll probably have to leave this to go off a little bit. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. Ooh, undercarriage. While I've got the stuff out, I shall put the undercarriage doors. I was waiting for you to tell me that, but um, obviously you wanted to see me in trouble. So all I've got to do now is find them. Right. <clears throat> I really, I was thinking, hoping really to uh, start work on the on the wings and the fuselage on the top colours, but realistically, I should leave this to dry. I mean, it's like I say, thanks to the magic ingredient, that's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty much dry, but I don't want a chance it sticking, masking on it, and and messing something up till it's fully cured. To be fair, so. I'm going to call it on this one for, for now, and uh, I hope you found this interesting. Oh, don't forget, like and subscribe. Thank you very much.